What's up, everybody? Tendo here. That there's Hannah Warrior Princess walking up to the mail truck. We were actually leaving the house to go drop off all of our packages. That's just how we had to start most days now. Uh, lots of eBay sales going out, lots of Tendo's trash orders coming out. So if you ordered something from us, it's on the way. But uh, old Hannah doesn't have to go wait in line at the post office today. The nice postman's going to take all the packages from her. He's a really nice guy. He's always happy to take them, even when she's got bags full. But uh, you guys stick around. We're going to go to our flea market booths and do a little work. Uh, we have to go to a couple of them today. So in driving back and forth, we'll definitely go to some thrift stores and stuff. So stick around. Got to stop by our storage unit real quick. There is a couple things in here that we need. I need a I need a clothes rack. I guess you need a replacement clothes rack, right? Yeah, mine's broken. And then I also need a barrel for a gun. Here it is, right here. Catch. Rip. that I have for this booth are up so far. I want you to peep these. Very happy about them. Mega Man, Turtles, SpongeBob, Mickey. Look at that beautiful Sonic clock, that Death Star clock that we found on yesterday's episode. Now, you see this right here? I measured it out and it's gonna work out perfect. This kitty table that Hannah's standing by that should actually just sit perfectly on top of that table as long as I get this shelf out, it should sit on there pretty comfortably. The shelf has not Phillips head bits, luckily. I brought my kit, so we should be fine. Perf. <laughs> and they're just hand tight, so there's that. Okay, today's changes are in and I'm very happy with them. I could not be more happy with that. Clocks are looking good. I need five or six more to fill out this bit of the wall. Might even come down with them, make that a specialty here because I have a good feeling about these clocks. And then just a few more accessories on the wall. And then I'm finally filling out these shelves, starting with Pop, and then we got Minecraft, and then that still has to be filled up, but slowly but surely. Another week or two worth of thrifting in this place will just be filled to the top. All right, we drove all the way across town to Desert Industries because we started yesterday's episode on the other end of town, way just a hundred miles from here, forever away. And it was such a great stop that we figured we had to go to the other one today. So let's do it, it's gonna be good. the other Desert yesterday, I thought it was interesting because in the toy section, they had them all arranged by color. And for toys, that kind of makes sense, but I've never seen DVDs arranged by color. Pretty interesting. Also, I don't really see any video games, so I don't know if they're mixed in there or if they've been put elsewhere or they just aren't any. But there is a PlayStation Guitar Hero guitar. Not terribly expensive. 
might consider. I kind of expected the video games to be over here, the lock boxes. I don't see any, but there are a lot of Legos, Skylanders, Disney Infinity. $35 is not bad. 45. Okay, thank you very much. Well, I was super excited I was gonna get this Megazord because I've already sold a couple of my booths, but uh, some kid went to town with a permanent marker, which I could get off, but some of the stickers are ripped too, so pass. Danger, Will Robinson, I'm definitely buying that. Also, bright pink clock, probably gonna buy that. And then look at this recorder. It's like a bass recorder. Bruh. Could use a little help, but I'll get it for a dollar. Check it out. You got some stuff. I got a pop. I got a bag full of those. I don't know if they're Burger King or where they were from, but like half of them are there. I've never seen this gun. It's one of the Rebel series. Yeah, like it shoots around the corner or something. Neat. I, I don't know. And then I grabbed all of the little Nerf guns that were a dollar. Sweet. They were all listed, or they were all priced either a dollar or two. I just got all the dollar ones. He needs a little help, but I can fix. That's Loki, right? I think so. I found something else I'm almost definitely gonna buy. This camera lens right here. Uh, that sells you used for about 200 bucks. I know that, because I've sold one before. Oh no. Garbage. Yeah, unfortunately. If, if two of them weren't, if two of the holes were broken, I can fix it. Thank you very much. So we just bought so much random stuff. I bought a recorder. <laughs> it's so big, I guess it's like a, a tenor or an alto or a bass recorder, I don't know. You tell them what you got, I'm gonna sanitize this. Oh We're gonna play a little tune. I got an anthropology mug for my booth. I got two pieces of corning where I'm not looking forward to this. This is gonna <laughs> This is about to taste so good. <laughs> it's gonna taste like wood and alcohol. <laughs> you, here, you talk about what you got and I'll play it too. Oh Go. my God. Go. I got this little cafe canister. <laughs> I thought it was cute, so I got it. I'm gonna put it in the booth. Um, I also found a Tupperware. <laughs> a Tupperware. Hold on, hold on, straight face, straight face. A Tupperware spaghetti canister lid, and I can't do it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right, low somber. Go. That's all I got. That's all you got, okay. I got I got a heck ton of uh, these Nerf guns because honestly these are the ones I sell the most because they're cheap. So moms bring their kids into our booth and then they see the darts, they'll get these in a pack of darts. So I got like five of them, a whole bunch. You didn't see this, Hannah. You know what movie this is? It's a, it's a re it's a movie reboot of an old old TV show. Oh, is that? Danger, Mr. Robinson. yeah, danger, yeah. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson. Uh, so yeah, I'll just put that in the booth. Pink clock, comment below. What should I make this? Princess Peach. Well, that was. I guess that's what we'll do. Nailed it. <laughs> Don't gotta comment below. Uh, another Nerf gun. This one like shoots around corners, and you got a mirror. That's the awesomest thing I've that ever is seen. Ratty. Oh yeah, I'm down with it. I've never seen it though. What? <sighs> I see these all the time at the antique flea markets that we sell stuff at. I've never tried to sell them, but since there were so many just for two bucks. Sure. I'll get them all and put a dollar on each one, I don't know. And uh, I've been doing a lot of repair on bobblehead pops because they always look like this. I fixed one just this morning before we even started filming, but I got that too. Is that everything? I think so. All right, I'll play us out. You sing the song of our people. It was a really bad ending. Yeah, I got most terrible. of it right. How does the end of Mary Had a Little Lamb go? You don't know? I obviously didn't get it right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it now. <laughs> okay, check it. I got my identification. You got yours? Mine's crunched. Yeah, mine's all bendy too. We keep leaving them in the car and it gets like 120 degrees in there and plastic melts. But we're at our other toy booth location. We are gonna go put 
some new product in there so that when Saturday comes, which is tomorrow, as of shooting this, we'll have a good weekend. All right, here we go. Honestly, this is the longest since we opened this booth that we went without stopping by here. So I was kind of expecting everything to just be on the floor, but it's not so bad. Uh, just a couple things knocked over. One Nerf gun on the floor, no big deal. But uh, there's definitely some stuff missing. Batman's about to be ripped. All right, we got a bunch to put in today. Starting with, can't get it open. Remember those marble cards I bought a couple episodes ago? That there's full. Give me Pac-Man. Our Mario shelf here is starting to look pretty bare. It's gonna just turn into a video game shelf, I guess. Come on, Cyclops, stand up. Wolverine, chill. Video game stuff. Charmander, where did you come from? Okay, Ninja Turtle, stand up. Charmander, you go here. Batman. All right, put this new camera back here. All right, the Proton Pack is pretty awesome. I looked at, show, show them. I looked these up on eBay before we came and they're going for like 40 bucks. So hopefully someone buys that this weekend, it'd be dope. But I think we need to hang that right here. Does it have a hanging place? All right, before we get out of here, I threw some zip ties on the Proton Pack. I'm glad to get that in there because there was a Captain America shield, you might remember. And I put a really high price on there because I didn't necessarily want to keep it at the house, but I wasn't really ready to sell it. So I put enough on there that I was gonna be happy if it did sold. And it sold in the first couple weeks that it was here. But uh, I need some more cool, expensive stuff like that on that wall. But that's up there. We brought this Nerf gun in here. What an insane gun. It has its own stand and it's goofy, but uh, there we go. I'm excited. Uh, this is gonna be our first weekend with how many booths do we have now? Technically five. I can't wait to see how we do this weekend. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on so we can update you in a week or so what it looks like with a, a full set of booths running all across town all at once. High five. That was so bad. Give me a high five. <laughs> all right, I'm pretty happy about our timing. We're showing up at this Goodwill, which is right down the road from our toy booth, and it's restocking time. It's like prime restocking time, so we ought to do all right. This happens to be the Goodwill where I found my last blue PSP, so real high five. It was still a terrible <laughs> high five. Look at this majestic mug. Horse on the side. Rainbow on the other side. That's cray. Is this trick or treat? Mug of tea. Just in case you wanted to know what that person was drinking an entire gallon of. I learned my lesson at this Goodwill to check the lockbox first. There's a bunch of games, three different Wii's. Gonna have to look at some prices. Look at this giant strainer. You could strain the whole world with that. Made in Indonesia. Very nice. Just see what it says underneath that charger. 20 bucks and then probably the same on that one. Do you know? I would say. Okay. Let me know how much is on this one. This one's yes, 99 please. 70. 99, okay. And then can I see all the video games on the shelf below it? I'll uh, I'll take these two, please. Yep. Are Name, you finished shopping? Are you I'm gonna keep shopping. Okay. Name's Dallas. Gotcha. Thank you. Them. On a scale of one to furious, how mad would pants be if I put them in this? I'm gonna say seething. Are these Lego? Yeah, they're Lego. Interesting. Fifteen bucks. Star Wars. There's some Star Wars stuff in there, yeah. Man, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Oh my god. This patch is fire. Like, what? Why is this here? Because it definitely doesn't go on this boot. Oh my god. We need to find a price tag for this. We were here at this Goodwill. I mean, it's been about a week, but it was really bare when we were here last. They're restocked pretty well. There's just so much to look at. I don't know which way to go. A little bit high on that one. 
Uh, it's nice that it's all there, but it's a little high. I'm gonna splurge on something for me. It's a pair of these Steve Madden sandals. I've been actually stalking them online, really tempted to buy them from a lowly seller like myself so that I can have some sandals for I'm putting my shoe back on. Because my shoes are really gross and I need sandals for the summer because these are super, super hot. They're super hot, so they're only $8, it's fine. I've paid more for less. This gun is missing its handles, I keep finding it without them. Guess who got two NES games? Me! <laughs> All right, that was a pretty good stop. I got two cheap Nerf guns, two more. I bought like 10 cheap Nerf guns today. I buy 10 cheap Nerf guns every day. What'd you get? I got some shoes. Very nice. I've actually been looking at these online for a really long time and they're really expensive, so I haven't gotten them. But I got them today. It's always awesome when you can get something you always wanted at a thrift store. I bought two uh, NES games I didn't have. There were a bunch of NES games in there, but I had all of them. But I didn't have Marble Madness. Marble Madness. And Dragon Warrior Let's Go. I had that as a kid. Did you? Yeah, I never played it, but we had it. I'm I'm ready to play it. I think it, I uh, I mean I I'm I've definitely seen gameplay of it and stuff. I've never played it myself, but I got it for 12 bucks, so I'm happy about that. Always always good to pick up a couple NES games because like I think I'm out only at like 50 or 60 NES games. I've got 600 PlayStation 2 games, <laughs> but I'm putting the NES collection together much slower. Here we go. Next stop, the round front Goodwill. I don't know why the front of this building is round, but it is. This is like the 10th time the Goodwill's had a bunch of pops. Spike, all right, let's take, I mean, let's look them up. I'm bummed I sold those other ones now. That's oh, Sam yeah. and Dean. Let's, let's look them up. If we can even just double the money on these right now, I'd love to have those in my booth with the rest, don't you think? Yeah. All right. So I'm sitting here doing some research on the pops to try to figure out if we, you know, are gonna waste our money buying these, but it turns out that we're definitely not. These are some pretty sought after um, pops that go for a good amount of money. So this one, this one, and this one are all fantastic. Little Carl over there, I mean, we're not gonna waste our money on him, but he's definitely not as expensive as the other ones are. Oh baby, let's go. Let's go 549. Oh yes. That's such a good find. Oh my god, look. This is about to be crazy. I just spotted it. And it's got some clips in it. How much? How much? How much? Where's your sticker? 349 sold. I was just about to look at the camera and say last time I was here I bought tons of toys. And I think it was a bunch of Skylanders. Looks like it's about to be a repeat. This is actually the first thing that I sold in my booth. So I'm gonna grab some more of these. Sold for six bucks. It's great. Can you say haul? Whoa. All right. Two more. 249. 349. Okay, I'll take them both. It's funny, there's a booth across from me, or from Dallas's booth at the Merchant Square that people talk about these little like bottles constantly. They've got a few of them in the booth and everyone's like, oh, I collect these, oh, I like these. And I'm like, should I be getting those? So I'm very intrigued by them. I'll find only the ones that I'm like obsessed with. This is kind of cute, but maybe no. I don't think this is gonna be valuable at all, but this certainly looks like something Hannah's gonna want to have seen. Let's go show her. This reminded me of you. I saw that over there by the lamps. <laughs> Not a surprise. So I thought you'd think it was pretty. All right, well, things keep just getting better because I found, oh, I'm about to break stuff. I found another pop, another Supernatural pop, just chilling back here. Next is some Tupperware. Is that one too? No, it's Rubbermaid. Let's go show Hannah. It's okay. What'd you find? I find you good things this time. Ooh, Crowley. Shit! Why did I sell Sam and Dean? Damn it! <laughs> Whoa! Those are beautiful. If those aren't mid-century modern, I don't know what is. I mean, maybe they're not actually mid-century modern, but they sure look it. Oh, I almost want to keep them for myself, but they're definitely going to go on the booth. It's got a little damage, but it's okay. Actually going to buy this Earnhardt clock. 
It's missing hands, but I have replacement hands. And tell me that doesn't look like something someone's gonna go to an antique shop and buy. Seriously. So maybe I'm crazy, but I really want a nice vintage set of silverware. I don't want this set because this one is, I, I just, I'm not sure about the gold, but it is really beautiful. I don't know, something about that looks so luxurious. I'm gonna find one that I really love. It's gonna happen. Um, I, got, I gotta get that, right? Gotta get him right. He's so derpy. He is. Ooh. That's a good one. That's definitely worth. We got a cart full. Here's a Cinderella bowl, but it's a little too expensive. We're not getting that one. Um, and then $3.49. Just a blank Cinderella bowl. Um, I mean it's probably at least worth 15, so we're gonna get that, I think as well getting a lot of stuff uh, uh, 749 we'll take we'll keep i think we even got a spare set of doors for that one what is up with this good boy? we're about to spend literally all the money that's in my pocket hold up before i walk away from this spot we want cookie and green is a dollar right now Oh look, it fits. What have I done? This pressure cooker looks like something out of the Jetsons. Like what is this robotic contraption? It's like, got Japanese or Chinese characters, Korean characters on it. It's really cool. Um, I'm not gonna start putting pressure cookers in my booth, but that would, if there was ever a pressure cooker, that'd be one. Dallas found nerd stuff. For organization, look at this, this is dope. Think of the Legos that could be sorted. <laughs> I don't know how I don't buy this. I don't know what I need that needs, I don't know what I have that needs sorting, but I can find something. But it's kind of goofy though, because you can't walk with it. You're like, it's trying to handle. Hmm. Are you still rolling? I gotta buy that too. It's, it's, I don't, you don't even know, you don't even need to explain this one. We know what this is for. <laughs> Holy cow. Set the Ikea bag up there. I don't even know. What like, just happened? I don't know. Go through some of the stuff you got. There's just so much. I. This Nerf gun, uh, when it has that drum that it originally came with, fire, that's a good one. I got Mickey Mouse cup. It's already sold one in the booth. I picked up two of these. I was just, what episode was it I was telling the camera? There's a Nerf gun I keep buying that has the wrong clip in it and it goes to these. So I have several clips for that laying around. Those sell really well. And this sells really well and extra bonus that it has half of its clips in it. Cookie Monster cookie jar I'm just, with actual cookie crumbs. I'm just gonna go ahead, <laughs> gross. I'm just gonna go ahead and say fine of the day, period. It's so cute. Fight me if you disagree, <laughs> cookie jar. Me want cookies. Me want it says on the top. We're gonna have a hard time selling that. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh my gosh, these are my find of the day. Really? These are beautiful. Cookie jar's not find of the day? <laughs> I love the cookie jar though. These are just, oh my God. What? These are wild. Yeah. Um, so they say F on the front, C S. on the front, and S. Yes. So what's that for? Sugar, flour, coffee. Nice. It, we don't have the T one, but it's okay. I bought Forky. He's going to my booth. Forky! Right next to Buzz. Starship Troopers 3. I never saw any of the Starship Troopers past the first one. I understand there's no reason to, but I now have three on PSP. Got a Pyrex Cinderella bowl. I love finding these. What else? Oh yeah, not a bad deal. A 749 Wii. And oh. this this was a needless purchase, but you remember yesterday's episode, I bought a bunch of globe keychains. These are little ape keychains. 
They're like, so cute. I want one. Yeah, they're great. Uh, you guys made a great suggestion to sell keychains in our booth, so I'm buying every bag of keychains I come across. The gray one's so cute. The pink one. You can have the pink one. Aww. They're so dope. I kind of want to put one on my keychain, too. I like this one because he kind of looks realistic. <laughs> he reminds me of pants in a weird way. Well, that's weird. All right, what else did you get? I got a really uncommon pot, uh, corny bowl. This is the Dutch oven roaster. Very nice. Well, I'm going all in on clocks, so I'm going to fix that up, put hands on it, clean it up, and uh, yeah, it's got a little battery corrosion, but I, there's nothing about a clock I can't fix. I've got those figured out. I got a Tupperware. All right. Now let's uh, look at these keychains all over the place. Let's count the pops. One, two, three. Okay, I thought maybe there was Four. more, but there's five, five pops. That's crazy. And so Carl from Despicable Me, great. And then we're gonna have to baby these. So I, I've said this a thousand times with pops. I, I don't know a ton about them. I know sometimes they're like worth way more if they're sealed. You know, like sometimes there's, someone was telling me the other day, there's some like exclusives that'll have a sticker on them and that sticker sealed will make a big deal. Yeah. So as far as we can tell, um, these supernatural ones and this Buffy one. Did you look up the the, the Loki? Yeah. And it was he's desirable we, too. They were all desirable. I don't want to start talking about dollar amounts because the moment I do, I'll find out it wasn't that version or something. But yeah. we've been making a lot of money off pops lately. I don't know what it is about Goodwill right now, but somehow more Goodwills than not that we've went to have had inbox pops, which makes me want to just go to more right now in case somehow. Some store closed down, dumped their stock to Goodwill, and Goodwill's been dividing them up. I don't know, but these were all three or four dollars. And, you know, yeah. I think the cheapest one was, was Carl and this one. So that's pretty we awesome. Didn't know what it was. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That was, that's one of the that's one of the best, the absolute best stops in a while. I wouldn't say that's the most, it's nowhere near the most we've ever spent at one stop. But that had to be in the running for the most individual items we ever bought at one. Yeah, we got a lot of bang for our buck on this one. That was a full cart. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, do we keep going or do we quit? I'm irrationally excited that this is Bonnie on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, that's great. Do we quit or do we go to one more? What if there's pops at the next one? You gotta make up your mind because I gotta do a, I gotta do a wrap up if we're quitting. Oh, I think maybe quit. One I'm more. a party pooper. One more. Let's, All right. Let's fine. do one more. All right. Well, we went to another one, and Hannah keeps tripping on her shoes. She's probably gonna die. I think I'm tripping. I don't know if I hate this or if I love this. Get ready. I'm tripping. Those are hideous. Those are scary, but they're also amazing. I'm confused. I probably wouldn't have come to this specific Goodwill had I realized which one it was, but I just kind of picked the next one on the map and went to it. And I usually skip this one because the prices are always ridiculous, like, you know, ten dollars. You know, there are some cheap ones though, because look at that bad boy for three forty-nine. That backhoe dinosaur. Uh, what else? Goodwill is putting the little pans inside of the big pans so that it's just all this big set for $8, which is actually kind of worth it. Um, this isn't a popular pattern, otherwise I would totally get it. If this was a cornflower or a spice of life, I'd be like, heck yeah, let's buy that all day. But I don't think I'm gonna get that one today. Look, they have the same pan I just bought which is hilarious because I never see this pan. I saw it twice in one day. How are these just casually laying on top of the, the rack? Yes! Totally get those for six bucks. Yes! See that? See me drop it and then snatch it? Yes! All right, well, left with like 10 more Nerf guns and 
You didn't even get a clip of the pants, did you? I did, and I said that they were six dollars. They were a dollar. I'm so stoked. Let's see the tag. Yeah, green tags were a dollar, so those were a dollar, and this big green gun had a green tag, so it was a dollar. And I never buy it because it's usually broken, but uh, a dollar, I'll take it for a dollar. Where am I going? I parked over here. Smart car. We're going on a victory lap. Pound that smart. Pound, pound that like button if you think we should get a smart car and drive around thrifting. Yes! <laughs> Look at all these Nerf guns. This is all today's haul. We filled an Ikea bag and then some. And there's two more. I bought these just because they were cheap and the, the add-ons were worth it. All right, check this out. We are going to do one more. I was actually planning on doing two more, but the statewide curfew here in Arizona is at, well, it's at 8, but everything's closing at 7 because of it, so we got to get in here and out of here pretty quick. Not that we ever really spend more than 30 minutes in a Goodwill anyways. Usually we average about 15 or 20, but uh, we will have to hurry up to get home before the curfew hits. Not that you're gonna get me in trouble for being out late, but you know. There's some really cute stuff here. Got this little anchor hawking jar. These I typically find are arc jars, arc glass jars. This one's actually anchor hawking, which is surprising, but it's really cute. I love the little um, fruit on it. And then the red, I think it's called bail wire clasp, but it's really cute either way. I like it. I also found these plates, which are by Corel, and they are very nostalgic for me because these are the exact plates we had growing up. So um, I'm going to get some so that it reminds me of my mom every time that I eat off of it. Um, there's also also one of the art glass jars here. It's $3.49, which a little higher than I want to spend for it is really cute, but um, I'll put those in my booth for like five, six dollars, so I don't think that one's quite worth it. But these little coasters are cute. I think I might get those too. Lots of fun stuff. I don't know why this hit me as being so strange because I understand that you know it's for scrapbooking and stuff, but it just seems like it'd be so annoying to cut paper that way. Dang, I'm really going hard on clocks for my booth. That's definitely one I should think about, but I do not want to spend that much. You guys remember that video, I don't know, some weeks ago when there was a bunch of laser discs at a Goodwill and I bought a few and then came back and bought a few more? Well, they are yellow tags, which means they're half off, which means they're about $1.60 a piece or so. So it's even more tempting to buy a bunch, but all the good ones are gone. Maybe we could come back and get them for a dollar a week from today. That would be cool. Kind of tempting still to get like some of the Disney ones, but I'm over it now. Okay, so Hannah was just kind of sitting here talking to me and I did a bad boyfriend thing and stopped listening because I was distracted because there's a trash can. I'll allow it, that's tell me, cool. Tell me we don't have to make a plushy me with a bandana and put him in the trash can. Oh my gosh. It's gonna happen. I'm behind this trash can. Well, Dallas is talking about trash cans. <laughs> I found some Gordon wear. This was really good because it has the lid, which um, jacks up the price a little bit because the lids are rare. This is like a pack of two. I'm liking this whole like packaging two together thing that Goodwill's doing. I'm into it, makes it cheaper. So I think I'm gonna get those three blue corn flowers. Yes! Okay, we've got just enough time to wrap up this video before it gets too dark outside. Uh, this is the latest we've went thrifting in a little while. We pretty much went all day. This is a long haul. And I bought a trash can. You bought a little tiny trash can? For no reason, <laughs> just cause you know, to those trash, I'll probably put a vinyl sticker on it or something. Put it, put it on something in my booth for like a display. I don't know, it was irrational. I'm trying to make excuses, there are none. Well, I bought some coasters. You've been talking about selling coasters in your booth. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna pick up the ones that are, I think are really cute. You know, palm leaves are pretty popular right now, so I thought that might be worth it. And then you got some dishes. I did, I got a Corningware with its lid, which um, when I was pricing stuff for my booth, I found out that having the lid alone doubles the price, so sweet. And then some little petite pans, but they were like connected together. Thanks, Goodwill. That makes it easy. <laughs> and then I bought my my mom nostalgia plates. <laughs> Does your mom have that set? Is yes. that her plates? Yes, these are her exact plates. I grew up eating off of these. So. That's pretty crazy that they were here. <laughs> they are, and I 
really excited about them. She still has the same set now. Yep. She was literally drying them whenever I texted her to tell her that I got them. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> well, I didn't get anything at this stop besides the trash can, but I guess before we get out of here, we should talk about favorite things that we got to say. You guys comment below, let us know what your favorite thing that we got, or if you didn't have a favorite, maybe most ridiculous. There's this funny thing that happens when we make these videos. You guys just watched all of this condensed down into like 20 to 30 minutes. Whereas for us, not only was it a whole day, but it felt like it was yesterday, this morning does. Especially like, squeezing that work in at our booths, right? Like, remember you bought a recorder today? I did! <laughs> I guess we gotta get one more in. This, I don't have anything this prepared. This feels like three days ago. It's backwards. I, what confuses me doing that is I'm actually, you may not believe this, but I'm classically trained to play the flute. I can actually play the flute quite well, read music and everything. The recorder fries my brain trying to convert it into the fingerings. But anyways, that's not my favorite thing I got, though. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess my favorite I'm going to go with, besides just getting an awesome haul of Nerf guns today for my booths, which is awesome because we do have one more booth here in town we want to open up in the very near future. I was already a little bit bummed that I was out of Nerf guns because of stocking that other booth. But I'm already, like, almost... I almost have yeah. exactly as many as is in that booth. But I think my favorite thing is just going to be these NES games. I overpaid a little bit, but they're games I actually am excited to play. So... I'm gonna go with that. What's your favorite thing you got today? Can what? you even remember if I if I like told you life and death you had to list everything you got today, could you? Everything? No. no. I would I would definitely oh, die. I couldn't list everything I got at the last stop. <laughs> um can I have like a top three? Top three, go ahead. <laughs> the the plates that I just got. Okay. The momstalgia. The momstalgia. The 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 metal canisters that I got at the last With the one. letters on the front With of the them. The letters on the front, those are beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna say the cookie monster jar. That's probably my favorite thing we got today. And then I mean those pops are cool because that those pops will pretty much mostly pay for what we spent today. Uh, and then of course we've got a lot more to sell. Like we we've made our money today, but those pops were cool. Yeah. I just I, I'm bummed about them because Hannah's not gonna let me put them in my booth. No. Comment below and tell me to let tell her to let me put them in my booth. She's no one's like, gonna pay the amount in the booth. You're right. <laughs> We, we got to put them on eBay, but I, I just like, I want my, I want my booth to have a little clout, you know? I want yeah. people to walk in and be like, there's good stuff here. Sweet there's never, gonna, there's never going to be anything but $5 pops in it. Cause anything that's valuable, we're going to put on eBay, but it was a lot of cool stuff today, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with us that whole time. Uh, I appreciate you coming along with us when we go on these wan random wacky adventures. Cause today we didn't know how much stretching we were going to do, but we started out and it was good. So we kept going. And then we kept going, and then we kept going, and now we're going to break curfew. Because, no, we're not. We'll make it home before. But I do want to find something to eat on the way home, but restaurants have been closing really early here. It's a weird world, man. But, uh, yeah, before we get out of here, do me a couple favors. Hit the subscribe button. Help us get to 3,000 subs. Like, right now, we're on our way there. Honestly, I checked the subs before we left the last flea market. And then by then and now we actually went up like 10 subs so it's been a good wow. it's been a good few days for subs if you've been watching for the last little while and uh, you want to help us out help us keep creeping upward hit that subscribe button and then before we get out of here check out our merch store tindostrash.com and then check out our discord it's a public place where you can come chat with us and chat with other viewers of this channel it's a good time over there I swear come join it pretty please that's it guys we do post daily videos here so make sure you come back tomorrow and check out what's going on all right and until then peace out Thank you.